Alright, so I'm doing this video because I've seen or had a lot of people ask me about how it's done and uh, I actually think it'd be a good little video to help you know assist people that have one of the custom Tachyon 3's with the proprietary screws and all that and you can get a little tool and whatnot to uh, get these out down here that's easy enough these right here on the other hand they've got a lot of red Loctite in them and the easiest found way I found to do it was to boil some water and uh, dip the tang in to about right here so that it can get in there because there is Delrin on the caged bearing plastic so you can't just take like a soldering iron to it and heat it up because it will make uh, it will melt the uh, Delrin so if you boil the tang area with the pivots you can get those out what I did is I squeezed them together and I put the tool in a drill chuck and I pressed down on it and then turned it left you know lefty loosey righty tighty and the male side is on the side that the screws for the latch are on and this top screw right here simply holds the spring for the latch right here and this one just holds the latch but inside here you'll find washer caged bearing washer inside each side of the pivot area of the handle but what this little video is about is uh, I'm gonna go over how to remove this clip right here this little spring inboard clip because a lot of people think it's got something to do with these screws right here it in fact does not and what you're gonna need and what I've got here is just an old screwdriver that I ground down in a circular motion until it was like really needle thin but uh, what you're gonna need is something like this and you're gonna turn the knife you know whichever is your dominant hand in my case I'm turning it with the latch and bite handle facing away from me and you're just gonna lift the latch up here now if you notice you can pull on it and it'll come open a little bit higher just pull it up a little bit higher and then insert the latch or the pin that you've made in my case it's a little screwdriver all the way down to the bottom right here on the side that has the flat of the channel style handle. Now what you're going to do is you're going to I've got a little flat area right here at the tip of mine. You just kind of stick it down in there and you're going to give it a little pull to the side and a little twist. And this may take some finagling but as soon as we get it to pop it's almost like picking a lock because you want it really thin and you want to get down in there and you'll hear it and you got to be careful doing this too. put your fingers over right down here because what we're doing is we're pushing on what's essentially like a watch link pin and it's sprung in there and there's a little spring and then there's two pins on each side that are free from the spring they're not on the spring so what you want to do is get down in there and I'm actually gonna latch this so I don't cut myself get down in there kinda pull to the side and what I do is I give it like a little twist so that that flat part's hitting. Damn it. Sorry, I said this takes some finagling. It's not just an instant fix. Friggin' do it a hundred times off camera. As soon as I get on camera, I just mess it up and I can't do it. That's my luck though. Just bear with me a second guys. There we go. Alright. And I did bend my little pen a little bit but we got it. But anyways you can see if I can get the damn thing off here we go there we go and see here's our little spring right here that causes the tension on the latch or on the clip to spring up and here's our little pins this is what we don't want to lose these are important what I'll do is I'll just take them out and set them to the side and I usually have a little dish I put them in so I won't lose them and then here's our little spring inside the clip right here 
me get that out of there so we don't lose that. There's our spring. Here's one of our pins. I'm not sure how well you can see that on the camera. I've actually got it in front of me so I can't see myself. And then we'll just run this through and push the other pin out. And here's our pins. And it's the thicker end of the pin that goes inside the spring when you go to reattach this. And you'll attach it, push it in, and then just pop it in like you would like for a watch band. But that's how you remove a titanium Microtech Tachyon 3 um, spring clip. And you can get in there and, you know, take the rest of the knife apart, anodize it, refinish it, whatever you want to do. But I just felt like, you know, y'all want to see how this was done. Because I spent, you know, over three hours probably looking around trying to figure out how to do it myself. Until I had the idea, you know, it might be a watch pen. And then I figured it out on a live feed on Facebook. But, uh, you know, this should help everybody out who wants to customize their TAC 3.